Hi, this is Ruthie. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Today I have a serious conversation I need to have. Um, there's a relationship that I have that's just not working out. Um, and it's, it's just bringing me to a breaking point. I don't know what to do. You know, no matter how much I love and, and give, um, you know, these embracadas. They just keep dying. What in the world? Um, we need to have a conversation. Like, what do you need from me? What is it that I'm doing wrong? Like, can you guys help me? Can you give me some advice? Because I can't take this. I can't keep losing these embracadas. Let's go. <laughs> Okay guys, so you may be saying, wow, the drama much? Yeah, um, it's dramatic, it's traumatic. It took me forever to get these embrocadas. If anyone has followed me, you know that I was super excited to get them. So for them to die on me, yeah, it's dramatic, it's traumatic. Um, I'm gonna make a big fuss about it. But more than anything, I just really wanna figure out what I can do to save them. This one is not savable and I, I, I plucked away um, most of the rotted, rotten leaves, but I wanted to just show you guys the rest so that you can kind of see and maybe save yours um, um, if you have the same problem. But if you look here, basically the rot went all the way to the top. The leaves that I took off, I left them here so you guys can see. Like the edges are black, so there's no saving this. And that's what makes me so sad because it didn't even look like there were any signs of struggle or anything wrong with it. So, yeah, it makes me sad. And I, I just, you know, I really want to be able to do the right thing by my plants. I don't, I don't want to kill them. Like, really? That's not what I bring them into this world for. Well, I don't bring them into this world, but bring them into my world for. So, um... I was talking back and forth with Emma because she has some beautiful um, embracadas and she did tell me that embracadas are really finicky so that made me feel a little better that it's not just me and I did see um, a couple of her videos way back a couple of months back she had the same problem and I was like oh going through it with her I was like oh my god no look at them leaves she got to take them off I know it's dead but um she was able to save some of them. I do not think that this is one of them that can be saved. Um, and I'll kind of, yep, look at that. Um, you see the tip there has black on it. I mean, it's pretty much the rot. It's, 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 it's deep. So, I thought that was a mealybug, but that's just the perlite. But you see all of this is, is rotted. If you touch it, it's soft. Um, and, and right there you can just see, I hope you can see anyway, that it's black right on the edges there. And someone else um, had a problem with it with their blue bird Echeveria. And these leaves that you won't even be able to propagate from them because they're just, they're rotten. And that, that's, that just makes me sad. Um, so I'm going to try, I'll keep that one, maybe, maybe there's hope, um, I'm going to try to save what I have left here and hope that this one here and these, and, and you know what's weird, that it's, it's not these red edged Echeveria, um, embracadas, it's these, the blue, blue rose ones that I've had a problem with, so I don't know if they're just, um, and I will try to propagate these leaves because these I don't see the black on them and they're from this side which I don't really see the rot on but the rot is all on this side so I mean I really doubt that this that anything will become of them but I'm gonna try and keep my fingers crossed but I I, I as, as hopeful as I am as a person, I don't know that much will become of it. 
so yeah this makes me sad and it's weird it's like this side is nice and pink and then this side it's just that root rot and, and it's not even like the the it doesn't even look like the it, they're not wet the roots so it's I'm baffled honestly like baffled so I'm gonna put these to the side and see if anything becomes of those I I I doubt it but I will update you guys and then I'm gonna go in here and I have a terracotta pot that I'm gonna put them in and I had these outside exposed to sun rain the sprinkler system but honestly this this soil it's not it's not it's not very wet it's not soaked so I'm, I'm I don't know I don't know what happened if you guys have any suggestions if you have any input please comment down below any um, experiences you've had with the same thing and what you've done to rectify that that would be you know that would be really helpful so this is the other one which I really hope I don't have a problem with um, I don't know we'll see and I'm hoping that the terracotta is the better the better option for this and I don't know if I should just take all the soil off and just start from scratch like maybe that was a problem that I didn't remove all of the soil before I mean I tried to but I don't know that me wetting the roots would be the best thing either so Let me see if I can. I mean, this one looks like it's doing okay. It looks like it may be even producing a pop. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna. Toes crossed, everything crossed, that this one will be okay. And everything is pretty stiff, all the leaves are pretty stiff on here. So I'm gonna say that this one's still okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pray that into um into existence that this one's gonna do amazing. Alright, so let me I'm gonna put that one here for now in this little pot. I wonder if it would do better on its own or separate. And then these are beautiful. Um, I hate to disturb the root too much, but I wonder if like, they're root bound, even though I put them into a bigger pot. Happy New Year, guys, by the way. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move that here. And I mean, these seem to be doing good. Like this one is spread out, it's gotten bigger. Oh, this is heavy. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't I, I can't explain why I'm having that issue. Maybe certain areas of the soil were wetter than others. I don't know, I don't know. This one seems fine. It's actually gotten bigger since I bought it. I didn't get to show you this one, sorry. Pretty pretty. And this one. It's huge, I love it. It breaks my heart that these died, you know, like that doesn't make me happy. That that couldn't make anybody happy. And these, um, Emma sent me this one. And it's doing really well. This kitty, I think it's even grown since I've gotten them. So, I don't, I don't know if that, just that area there was more wet. Maybe it was, because this feels a little drier. I don't know, I can't figure it out. 
take it out. I'm gonna have this one. Other than the other than the dried leaves, this looks fine. I don't see any black. Oh, that, oh this one's even had getting a little pup. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm gonna take hands in the way. But right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Looks like there's a little pup growing right there. Alright. And then I have this. Alright, let me pause it. Alright, so I have my potting soil here, I have perlite, and this is the pot I'm going to use. I just have like a little weed barrier and a little, um, wire, just to, for the drainage hole. Um, I used to put rocks in there, but, um, somebody, I think it was Patty, Patty, Magnets. Um, she gave me some great information that we shouldn't really be putting rocks in the bottom, and I saw it in a couple of other um, videos that um, it, it may impede drainage instead of helping. So I just started putting, you know, like weed barrier because I have a bunch of it. I bought some and I never used it. It's just um, this little weed barrier, and uh, if I have wire, I put wire in there as well just to reinforce that. So. I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna put more per. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna put the soil all over me. What I'm gonna do. Hold on. It's getting hot in here. Well, out here. I think it's gonna be so hot outside today, but it, it is. So I'm gonna put almost half and half because I'm not trying to play this game with this root rot. This is not. This is war, man. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get crazy with this perlite. And I wish I had some pumice. I think I'm gonna order some online and see, see if that's helpful. Cause if I, I know that that is, um, they use that for cactus a lot, and I may want to, you know, buy more cacti. And that would be a good thing to have. There's someone, I think he's in the UK, that uses cat litter. And that, and not only does it look like a nice topsoil, but it works to keep the cactus really dry. So I, they just don't sell that particular cat litter that he uses here in the States. So unfortunately, that's not an option for me. And, um,. My husband, the other day, I was trying to find some um, topsoil and um, a particular, you know, like color, like earth tone or whitish. And he gave me some crushed coral, which I was so tempted to use, but I thought about it and I was like, I wonder if that would um, change the pH of the soil. So I, I didn't dare do it. And I was trying to do some research to see if crushed coral would be something that I can use in my soil. If anybody knows or has used um, crushed coral, uh, let me know because it's it's really pretty and it's um, you know maybe that's an option. All right, so I have to pause for a second. Okay, so I'm quite annoyed because I cannot find my baby shovel. <laughs> it's from my little garden tool set and I love it and I don't know where it's at and that just really annoys me. One of my favorite tools, so All right. no crying in gardening. Well, there is in the Zambricatus. So, what if I, I'm gonna put the bigger one in the middle.
And my whole point of putting it in that bigger um, arrangement was so that it had room to grow, so that it could have a bunch of pups, and then, yeah. So I don't know if I should just leave him alone in here, and then maybe put these guys in here, like, oh, I'm so confused. Um, I'm tempted to do that. Let me see. Maybe put one. Maybe put these two red ones in there, and then maybe this one, since it's the same kind, I'll put it in here. Like it's a little mama and son. I don't know what to do. It's always like. Play it by ear, you know? what I do, I play it by ear and just whatever feels right. Uh, I'm going to put these two in here together. And then this one, I'm going to put it in here with this one. I don't even know if this is an ember ricotta. Because it looks like a different color. Needless to say, I'm going to probably check if I can purchase another Embracada or two because I'm super sad about losing the two that I did. And I believe I still have a coupon for Mountain Crest. Or if anybody wants to do a swap. I'm, I'm all for those. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be forced to use this shovel, which is not a bad shovel. I just like my little one. And I do have this one, but I like the other one because the end has a little pokey thing that I use all the time to leave holes in the soil. So I just really love it. And guys, wish me luck with this. Like, I'm not happy about losing my ambrocatas. Hey, hey, check this out. Um, if I can find what I'm looking for. Okay. I got a great idea from the set Wonder Woman. I've been trying to find a gravel as a topsoil, and I haven't been able to just because um, oh no, just because I refuse to pay like a million bucks for, um, oh lord, for decorative rock, and I've been trying to find, um, something to use, and I did try aquarium gravel, I sent my husband to the store, but he bought me this, like, red gravel, and a blue gravel, which it just doesn't go with my um, my garden. So thank you, honey, but the color doesn't work. But he did say it was the only color they had, so, you know, I appreciate that he tried. But, um, this that Wonder Woman, she mentioned that they had the gravel, the aquarium gravel, on sale at, um, at Walmart. My local Walmart didn't have it, but I checked the app, and the one next to my job did. So I went and got it. And it's perfect. I mean, it's this is the color I typically use for my um, arrangements. But I wind up using the bigger rocks because I <laughs> can't find the smaller ones. And this is great. I love it. I'm happy. So thank you, Lissette. Mm. 
my god, this has gotten long. Sorry, guys. And again, any suggestions on um, embricotta care? Because I have not had losses like I have with these embricottas with my other, not many succulents anyway. Now the ones that I have lost, I usually know why. It's because they're either in the front yard that um, gets full sun, full rain all the time. And they're kind of my experiment ones that I know what I can put in my yard, which sounds terrible, it's not experiment ones, like you really hope that they make it, but for some reason they don't. And I think gardening is a process and you learn what works and what doesn't, and then you adjust. I mean, there's no way you're going to tell me you, you didn't lose, you know, plants or anything like that. If you didn't, like, you're amazing, give me some tips. Um, and that's the goal. I mean, you don't want to lose plants. You don't want to. You want to be successful and make your plants happy. And that's what I hope I'm doing with you guys. I'm gonna make this relationship work. My husband. <laughs> he was asking me. He says, "You're out of your mind." It. That's nothing new. Mm -hmm. That's how I can deal with you. <laughs> I'm crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I'm just. I'm blessed and thankful. So. I know. I know. What my life could be like, and I'm very thankful that I have family, loved ones, and you know. I know not everybody's as fortunate as that. So I'm, I'm thankful for the small things, big things. I'm just thankful. <laughs> All right, I think that looks good. Um, and hopefully things will grow in. So let me do the other part. And I'm sorry this is not kind of lengthy. I just I'm trying to save my babies. And, um,. I don't even need a piece of anything because it has. I have um, a little words um, saucer for it, so I don't. I don't need to put the, anything on the bottom. Actually, I still should because then it gets all dirty on the saucer. Where's my little? Hold on. So I just put my little weed fabric. It'll stop the soil from going through. And you can see that I have quite a bit of perlite in here. I'm tempted to put more. I'm gonna put in here and I, I almost feel like it's too small of a pot but I just want to keep a good eye on them and then I'll transplant them if need be. and it will need to be done because they're gonna do great, great. I have to think positive Or you could choose to think negative and make yourself miserable. That's, you know, that's a choice too. I just like to choose positivity over negativity any day of the week. Mess. It's hot. 
hot. It's still really cool. This is Florida with you. What do you think? It's really hot. Uh. Alright, you get those pretty pretties. Beautiful. Oh, what about this guy? Just throw them in there too. What's wrong with that? Now I feel like that's really tight in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. I really should be doing this in another pot so I don't waste all this gravel that falls because I'm messy. He said, you have that intense face when you're tired. Like, like I'm diffusing a bomb or something. Like, dun 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 but loves that I'm 0% mature. Especially when he needs V-Bucks or VC for his PlayStation. He loves that I'm 0% mature then because I'm a gamer and understand his gaming needs. A little crazy with this growl. I don't even know how to get it off now. I have dirt all over my legs. Alright, well that's gonna have to do. Beauty, I hope you can see the colors. Alright, so that's gonna be that. Um, I hope I saved these guys. Guys, I'm doing my best for you. So be gentle. Um, if you have any suggestions, please comment down below. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Slam it, pound it, <laughs> so that you know when I post something new. Till next time, bye.